Just days after a Brady police officer was shot in a standoff, the alleged victim is speaking out about his experience. KTAB Tower Henderson has been to Brady and inside the house where that shooting endangered civilians and police. The resident claiming that he was trapped in the middle of the shooting. Walking into this home in Brady, the first thing you'll see, bullet holes in the doors, in the walls, even in the fridge. And bullet after bullet coming next to your face. You keep thinking, is this the last time I'm going to see my kids, my grandkids? What am I to do? It's Stephen Fenwick's home, describing to us what he remembers of the day he said he was held hostage. He, just like I said, he would tell me I wasn't going to see my grandkid. I was not, I was not going to survive this. He was going to blow the back of our head off. By 35 year old Dakota Blake, who's now facing attempted capital murder charges after what police call a standoff. And an officer was shot in the process. Which is right there in my face. The camera acting as Blake's eyes the morning of, tucked away at the foot of Fenwick's bed in total darkness. According to Fenwick, that's when police knocked at the door, arresting Blake's wife, who was also in the home, but in plain sight. That's when Blake got angry. I got met with a barrel to the back of my head. It's all your fault. You're all going to die. Fenwick says the fireworks began, shielding one of his four disabled roommates from the bullets. I was scared. I felt like I was going to pass out. And I, I just kept running. Fenwick says he could feel the heat of bullets passing his face. I mean, literally feel it coming right next to you. You know, you think is, God, please, you know, if you get me, just kill me, get it over with. And says he felt the barrel of the gun on the back of his head again. And told me to go ahead and make my phone calls. Call my daughter, because I had a newborn grandson, and get a picture of him, because that's the only way I was going to get to hold him. In the seven hours Fenwick was held at gunpoint, he says his four roommates were released one by one, and he eventually crawled out of a window. That's when police moved in. And Brady, with coverage you can count on, Tyler Henderson, KTAB News. Thank you, Tyler. As we reported earlier in the week, the police officer was shot with a bullet, uh, with the bullet actually hitting his bulletproof vest. The officer now back on duty, and that case is still under investigation by the Texas Department of Public Safety, and the shooter is in custody.